I'm Lisa D. Today we're here at Hyonis in White House and we're going to check out some of the products that they grow. Hyonis is probably the biggest and best grower in New Jersey. So anything from poinsettias to bulbs, lots of tropicals. So come on, let's check it out. Lisa D. I'm here today with Tim H. from Hyonis Greenhouses, White House Station, New Jersey. Um, growers of plants and flowers. We're currently in the middle of our poinsettia production and shipping and uh, getting ready to uh, decorate the tri-state area with uh, beautiful poinsettias and Christmas cactus and wreaths and roping and all that good stuff for the holidays. And I see that you have a few behind us here. Yeah, just, we, just we, a few. We grow a few. Yeah, yeah. So currently we're in production. We grow over about 250,000 poinsettias wow. from a four inch pot size all the way up to an 18 inch pot size, um, which is anywhere from a tabletop about four inches tall to about four, four and a half foot tall is our largest size. And um, uh, right now we're gearing up uh, to get uh, ready to ship. You can see over here on our right. This is our, one of our sizes here that's ready to go out the door tomorrow morning. Um, and uh, we'll be doing that from now until uh, Christmas. So even though there's so many here today, I have a feeling that they're really going to be leaving here fast. Yeah, so we, we typically within the next three, three weeks are our biggest shipping uh, times of the year. So between today and uh, three weeks from now, we, should hope, we, we hope to have the place emptied out. For, okay. the, for the holidays. So for all the retail people, they should head in here fast. Come for the in best quick selection. and get the best ones while we still got them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much. All right. Hi, so what's your name? Jill. Jill? Mm -hmm. So what brings you here to Hyonis today? I actually came to look for some poinsettias and uh, there's so many. Yeah. I don't even know what to choose. I know. I think you're in luck. So, <laughs> I what, think so. What color are you looking for? Red. Red? Okay. I think there's plenty. I think I heard Tim say if you buy 100, he'll give you one free. Really? Yeah. All so, right. I might have to do that. Okay. Or maybe 200. Maybe 200. All sure. Right. 250. 250. Two, two, two free. Two free. Yeah, for 200. Two free. Yeah, there you go. That's Sounds good. good. Maybe throw some pink and white ones in there then too. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, thanks for coming out today. No problem. Hi, so today I'm Jungle Lisa here with... Jungle Tim. Yeah. And we're in the tropical rainforest, I think. We're in our tropical section here at the yeah. greenhouse, yes. Yeah. And it, it makes us feel like we're in the jungle. Like it does. you're my Jane and I'm Tarzan, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. So uh, you have a little bit of um, tropical plants here. We have a, a nice bit. selection of tropicals here. Yeah. Uh, everything from your common uh, spathophyllum peace lily all the way up to your ficus loratas and your fancy philodendrons that are becoming nice and popular nowadays. Um, so the selection of tropicals is enormous. Um, and it's great. It's, it's a great time of year to fill the inside the house with tropicals, and you know it helps keep the air clean in the house. It purifies, and it it, uh, it, it gives you air movement within the house, um, especially you know you, you got you know some dry air in your house that you know you can't sleep well at night. Put a nice tropical plant in your room um, to help you know moisturize the area. It'll, it'll help you sleep a lot. Okay. So um, yeah, come on down. We'll have it all winter long um, for tropicals for the house. Yeah, so especially in the winter when it's looking gray outside and cold, pop on in here yeah. and it's like summer. Right, and bring some home and bring it into the house. Yeah. All right, yeah, let's yeah. check them out. Let's do it. All right, all right. let's go. All right. So Tim, I just wanted to show the viewers uh, some of the different varieties that you have because I, I know most people must buy the red, but I like the more unusual ones. So can you tell us about these? Yeah, so we have uh, a couple of novelty uh, varieties here. You're holding in your hand the winter rose poinsettia, which makes a nice little round florette, almost to resembling like a rose, mm -hmm. which has been out uh, uh, last few years. And another one that I have in my hand is called the glitter, 
which has got uh, which is a red poinsettia with speckles of white in, uh, in it as well. Also another uh, becoming a popular favorite uh, in the novelty uh, section of the poinsettias. And then we have you know other colors like white, pinks. Uh, there's a burgundy out there that oh. we grow as well. We have white with a holly leaf in it now, which is a newer variety. Um, so yeah, the nice thing about poinsettias is they're always trying to develop new new colors and and varieties to go along with the traditional red. All right, sounds nice. Well, I'm going to go search the greenhouse and pick some out. Yeah, let me help you out. Okay, great. Hi, I'm Lisa D, production manager here in the bulb department at Hyonis with... With uh, manager uh, de department Tim H. And we're over here, we're planting tulip bulbs for uh, early spring and Easter 2023. And here we are in our, uh, in our production line here. Uh, right now we're having pots getting filled up by our new, our new mayor machine. We have six girls over here that are planting up tulips. We get six tulip bulbs in a pot um, that they're putting in uh, each six inch pot here. And as it comes down the conveyor belt line here, uh, this gentleman over here is, uh, is back filling soil, putting it on top. And it travels through the conveyor belt to a watering tunnel. And in the watering tunnel, uh, it gets hydrated and gets enough water, and then it comes around on, a, on our conveyor belt system all the way to the other side of the, of the production area over here, and the guys are taking them, sticking them in, in crates, um, stacking them on pallets, which we then transfer via forklift into our cooler, so it gets its cooling time, um, so everything gets ready just in time for the um, you know, early spring 2023. Okay. All right. So, so yeah. March? March, so April? We'll, we'll start. We'll start taking. We'll start taking them out in uh, beginning of February, and we'll have them ready for sale through February, March into April. Um, as we bring them out into the cooler, we'll bring them into the greenhouse, and we'll force them and get them ready for sale. Uh, so we have color early spring of 2023. We grow over uh, half a million six-inch pots of tulips, hyacinths, and daffodils wow. for our program for our Easter program 2023. All right, that's a lot of bulbs. A lot of bulbs. So yes. I want to know, can I pick my colors and plant my own? If you you could plant this bulb that was that you see here in my hand, yeah. you plant that now, uh, October, November, uh, and early December in the ground. Yeah. So they're ready for when they come up when the when the weather breaks in early spring. Okay. If you plant these in the springtime, they will not they will not grow and flower. All right, so you gotta do it now. You gotta do it now. Yes. All right. Well, All right. thank you. You're welcome. Help! Somebody help! looking for the pink bulbs. Oh, they're in the back there. Here, let me show you. I mean, I need a keep whole going. bunch. Are you keep sure? Going. Keep going. Are you keep sure? Going. All right. Bye. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> thanks for joining us today at Hyonis here in White House and special thanks to Tim and the rest of the crew for the great tour. I hope you enjoyed looking at some of the plants in production. So this is Lisa D TV. Keep me turned on. <laughs>